understand the sport of skiing in Canada, it's important to go back, perhaps not to the origin of skiing itself, but as early as the late 30s and 40s. The CSIA was founded in 1938. Prior to this, few people on the slopes of Canada understood the mechanics of skiing, and in those days it was as much of a challenge to get up the hill as it was to go down. Ski equipment was basic at best, but the goal of the Canadian instructors was also very basic, to make skiing fun and easy to learn. A mission that was simple enough to understand, but one that would require great leadership and support. As ski areas across Canada developed, so did the technique of mastering the slopes. With the ambitions of talented and devoted ski professionals across the country, the CSIA was becoming well-respected internationally. Ernie McCullough was a master as ski school director at Mont Tremblant, Quebec, and an internationally recognized ski racer. McCullough inspired and challenged even the experts. Their goal? To keep up with Ernie. It was during this era that the stereotype ski instructor made his debut. In the late 60s and throughout the 70s, skiing was at a fever pitch and the fever was catching as baby boomers took to the slopes and droves. Canada's CSIA demonstration team represented the ultimate in ski technique. The Canadian demo team became part of an international ski association with conventions held worldwide known as Interski, the World Congress of Ski Instructors. It was in 1960 that training for Interski was taking place at Sunshine Village in the Banff Ski Region. Interski that year was scheduled for Aspen. Czechoslovakia hosted Interski in 1975. Perhaps primitive by today's standards, the Canadian Ski Instructors team was the first to introduce showmanship. This was skiing on a grand scale and changed the look of interski presentations for years to come. Through these years, the CSIA interski team and level four examiners have spent much time on research and refinement of technique. Developments in equipment and ski racing influenced the skiing world. These standards were reflected on recreational skiers. By the late 70s and early 80s, skiing was more than just speeding downhill. It was controlled power, speed, and style. By 1982, the CSIA's commitment to dynamic skiing and teaching methods was the basis for preparation for the demo team that participated in Interski 83, held in Sesto, Italy. Canada's theme for the presentation of the world ski elite was movement and motion a theme that continues today in CSIA ski technique. Interski 87. For the first time ever, it was hosted by Canada, Banff National Park, the majestic Rockies, where once again, the quest for the ultimate ski technique continued. But skiing in this country goes far beyond Canada's level four instructors and synchronized ski teams. The years of experience gained through international ski relationships has benefited more than expert demo teams.